I was wondering, did you have any tricks on finding places like that? Or is it just talking to agents and, and doing that? I don't know if you have any, yeah. any tricks. On. I mean, talking to agents is always the like one of the biggest things. Um, in Zillow and Redfin, there's a way to look for multiplexes. Right. Um, also, what the way this works is like anybody selling a property goes into a system called the MLS, which I forget what that stands for. Something listing service. Um, yeah, I forget what that stands for. But you have to be a certified real estate agent to be in the MLS system. But Redfin and Zillow and you know a few other companies have access to the data that's in the MLS, and they scrape that data periodically. Right. So like what you see in Redfin and Zillow is only like a smidgen behind what's in the MLS, right? So, you know, maybe back in the day, looking at stuff on Zillow was kind of tough, you know, in a market where it's a seller's market and stuff is like, you know, going off the market before it even shows up on the market, you know, Zillow and Redfin is behind, but you know, as the market's switching, like even now stuff is staying on the market for weeks at a time. I think Zillow and Redfin are fine. I see. Yeah, it's saying like price cuts. I'm seeing lots of price cuts on there. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of more of a sign that it's going down. 